Cue dope intro. Give you my heart. All right, let's talk about VPNs, all right? Uh, there's been a lot of information running around on the internet that I've seen, and uh, most of it's garbage. So I kind of want to clear the record on, on what they are and uh, I guess what they aren't to some extent. So let's get started. Um, so what is VPN? First of all, it is an acronym. So uh, it stands for Virtual Private Network. In, functionality, in terms of functionality, it basically functions as a proxy, at least in many ways. Uh, it's not a proxy, technically speaking, but it functions as one in, in the sense of, you're taking the web traffic from your device, your computer, your phone, tablet, whatever you have, your game console, and all of the data from that device that's going to the internet, it's connecting to a web server someplace, right? If you're on a website, if you're on a game, if you're on an app, it doesn't matter. You're connecting to somebody's web server somewhere in the world. Well, a proxy or VPN in this case, you know, instead of that traffic going directly to the web server, it's passing through the intermediary, which is the VPN or proxy server. So it goes your device, server, and then web server. Um, there's a lot of advantages there. Uh, I know a, a common use case for um, for proxies, at least, um, not as much for VPNs, it seems, because they don't work as well for this, but uh, it's streaming, you know. Uh, and uh, a lot of guys use uh, proxies to bypass um, geo blocks. So a geo block is just like, you know, I'm in Europe and I want to watch uh, content on the streaming platform, say Netflix, that is intended for the American audience. It can't be viewed outside of the United States of America. Well, one way to potentially bypass that restriction is to use a VPN or a proxy. And, um, you just simply connect to a server, a proxy or VPN server that is located in the United States. And ideally you would then be able to view that content. Now, in practice, though, many streaming services honestly are pretty good at, you know, detecting that. And maybe I'll make a new video later about, you know, uh, how to bypass uh, geo blocks on streaming content or something. But um, basically, that's the idea. There is you're you're making it appear as though you are where the VPN server is because the traffic is coming. You know, the the web server is seeing the traffic come from a VPN server to it, so it only sees the uh, the VPN server or the proxy server. Now, where now there is a there there are uh, different types of proxies, but um, and there are different types of VPNs for that matter. So this is a, this is a broad overview, by the way. I should probably have said that at the beginning, but there you have it. This is a broad overview. Uh, maybe future videos I'll dig more into it or something. But um, now. Where VPNs and proxies really kind of split and diverge uh, considerably is in the area of encryption. Now, uh, please don't shout me down in the comments because there are such things as encrypted proxies and I'm well aware of that. You know, SOX proxies, for instance, SOX 5, SOX 4, things like that. Um, you know, where VPN though still diverges from a SOX proxy is the software that is, um, you know, basically universal for a VPN, the software that you will have running typically on your device, though sometimes it could be on your router if you wish to set it up that way, but it's software that will encrypt, uh, it's called client side encryption. So basically it is taking the data from your device and uh, all the data, by the way, you know, encrypting all that data before it ever leaves your device. Um, now, most of the internet nowadays uses a pretty standardized form of encryption called SSL. Um, if you look at the address bar on a website and it says HTTPS, well, it's Hypertext Transfer Protocol, but the S stands for secured, which means it's using that SSL encryption. But still, an extra layer of encryption uh, doesn't hurt anybody, really. Uh, it is useful, especially on public networks um, that don't use, um, where the data packets are not encrypted. Uh, and I don't mean the SSL encryption, but, um, well, it's kind of another video, but to touch on it briefly, um, if a router if a wi-fi router is using a password if the if you have to have a password to log into the wi-fi network then that means that your data packets are going to have some form of encryption uh you know just going and coming from the router itself and if it does not then that means they do not have that encryption which means they are uh, potentially vulnerable to um you know things like man in the middle attacks and other types of attacks sniffing things like that but um anyway so with vpns um a lot of the misinformation I see around is really about their usefulness, like whether, you know, are they really useful for helping to protect you online? And the short answer is yes, they absolutely are. They're not an all-in-one solution. 
And sometimes the marketing, some of these VPN providers do get carried away. They do make claims that are a little overboard. But on the other hand, they are one of the most useful things, in fact, when it comes to just protecting your identity, protecting yourself online, protecting yourself from uh, being tracked by advertisers and all of that other things. Now, um, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned, uh, you know, VPNs encrypt all of the data, you know, going and coming from your device or at least leaving your device actually. Um, now an exception to this is if you're using a browser VPN. So, um, Brave, for instance, um, Opera and what was the other one? Aloha, Aloha. Um, all use some form of a, you know, VPN like thing within the browser. Now, in that particular case, it's not encrypting the traffic that's leaving your device. It's just encrypting the traffic inside of the browser, which actually in some cases could be quite useful, which again is uh, another video, actually. I'll just talk about that in another video. Uh, Browser-based VPNs like Opera. And um, I'm going to leave it with that for now, though. And um, in my, uh, I'm going to have another video kind of dovetailing off of this one where I'm going to talk about different types of VPNs. Um, I'm going to just, I was going to make it in one video, but so I just make a separate video, make things easier, uh, more succinct. So anyway, so stay tuned for that video and I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.